My name is Sohaila Maliki, and we're located in the Southern Regional Research Center of the Agricultural Research Service, and we study food allergies, particularly peanut and tree nut allergies. In the past 20 years, peanut allergy has tripled in the U.S. and in some countries even more. And nobody really knows why there's this huge increase in prevalence. But also, peanut and tree nut allergies are rarely outgrown. So it's very difficult for people that don't outgrow it. They have to avoid peanuts and tree nuts for the rest of their lives. And we study this at the Department of Agriculture to help consumers or food industry develop methods to treat or diagnose peanut and tree nut allergies. The only treatment available for food allergy is avoidance. And everybody from the peanut farmers to the consumers, to the food industry, to the regulators, everybody wants some kind of treatment. Nobody more than the food allergic consumers. There's a team of researchers here at the USDA actually trying to come up with a treatment for food allergy. And we helped develop the very first food to be characterized as a pharmaceutical for immunotherapy of peanut allergy. So the quality of a food allergic person's life has been tested or questioned compared to such things such as diabetes and have found that they have a lower quality of life. The reason for this is that food allergy has a ripple effect. It affects the child, the parents, the siblings, any immediate family around to the schools, the daycares, the friends, the parents of the friends, the friends of the parents' friends, and so forth. Because everybody has to be on high alert when a child may be potentially exposed to something that they're allergic to. It's also terrifying for parents to know that something that's so prevalent, like food, can actually severe, maybe deadly reaction in their child. The goal of our research at the USDA is to improve the life for American consumers. That's our job. 